Okay. So welcome to the second uh, Van Hackathon Hangout. It's great to have everybody here. Um, we are less than two weeks away from the event, and I am super nervous, uh, but very excited. I uh, actually just got uh, some more challenges uh, or a challenge in from Shopify today. Uh, so lots of, uh, yeah, lots of things happening kind of just to wrap everything up and have everything ready for, for you guys. Uh, but uh, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I see a lot of you guys already members of the Van Hack, uh, the Van Hackathon uh, Slack group. If you're a pro member uh, or a premium member, there's a lot of people talking there, making teams. It's very, very cool. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to, uh, we started doing this already uh, without you guys knowing, uh, is adding some of the recruiters into the Van Hackathon Slack group. So if you are a member of Van Hack Pro or Premium already and uh, you're in that Slack group, um, you know, you're being watched. <laughs> um, uh, not, not, uh, not like seriously, but uh, I think a lot of the, the companies are going to be looking to see how you work together and the kind of getting in touch with you via that Slack group. So make sure you're active in that Slack group and talking and interacting and asking questions and making teams. And, and basically it's going to be, it's going to be the focal point of where the van hackathon will happen during the, um, during the weekend. Uh, we'll also have a platform where you can submit your, your challenges um, that the video of that is in the, uh, it's on the Van Hackathon page. So if you haven't gone to vanhack.com slash hackathon and watched that video, make sure you watch that video because if you don't, I, I, I'm going to make a little rule here. You can't ask me a question because there's content out there created for you guys specifically to answer a lot of this, the questions um, that, that are, 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 you know, are frequent um, that, that you guys uh, share um, or ask. And um, I just, I just want to make sure that you know, we use the time that we have together. We only have one hour um, not to waste time in asking questions about things that are already explained. And you can just watch the video or, or read a comment. So I'm just going to be a little bit shot with that uh, because I, I just want to make sure we respect everybody else's time. Um, so with, with that, um, I guess the, the other thing I'll say is that we're going to have, if any of you here are, are in Vancouver, um, I'm not sure if you guys are, but if anyone here is, we're going to have the Van Hackathon uh, in person as well. So it's not just going to be online, it'll be in person and online together, blended. It will be at Spring, which is actually where I used to work, uh, in Chinatown here in, in Vancouver. Um, and so I don't know if, if anyone here is in Vancouver, please write in the chat. Um, because I'll, I can answer more questions about that. We're actually going to have a food sponsor, so um, I, I don't know how much big of a difference this makes to you guys, because, uh, um, yeah, I guess, Paul, you are in Vancouver, so you and I will see each other there. Um, uh, there'll, be, there'll be free pizza <laughs> at, the, at the event on, on Friday and Saturday night. Uh, but that's, that's a small uh, kind of thing. Um, so let's, get the, let's dive into it. I want to use this time to talk with you guys, to answer your questions. Um, yeah, make sure we're all on mute. Uh, just, yeah, better. Um, and so the way this works, in, uh, you know, like uh, I think it was uh, Rachel, you were asking about how Zoom works. Um, one great thing about Zoom is that you can actually put up your hand virtually. Um, so you can, if you guys go to click on manage participants at the bottom, click manage participants, and then uh, there should be a place for you to put up your hand. Um, as I'm not a, um, I'm not a participant, I'm a host, I can't see exactly how that works, but I think it should be said your name. Um, so yeah, raise hand, exactly, Daniel, thank you. Uh, find the raise hand button, um, and I will be able to see who has raised their hand, and that way I can uh, call on you, like, like we're in school. Um, I never thought I'd be a teacher. <laughs> um, and, and then, um, and then we will, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll begin. So this, this hangout again, it's all about you guys answering your questions, helping you prepare. And, uh, so yeah, let's see does anyone have any questions? No, am I not seeing? Oh, we have two. Great. Cool. All right. So, uh, Thiago, I'm sorry. We're going to, we're going to go in alphabetical order. So I'm not sure if you put your hand up first or, or if it was, if it was Bruno, but Bruno, I'm going to unmute you. Hi, Bruno. How are you? Uh, fine. I hope you guys are everything all, all right with you guys. Yeah. Uh, that's the first time I'm using this. I'm just getting 
10 minutes ago and I say, okay, I will try all again. Let me see. And here you are, you're virtually in Canada. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm physically here in Canada. Oh, cool. Cool. Are you in Toronto? Uh, close. I'm actually, I'm Cornell. I'm closer to Ottawa and Quebec than... Are you the, the designer, Bruno, that has like... No, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm terrible. It... I'm terrible at that. Okay, sorry, because uh, there's a Bruno who's a designer who like, since the first days of Van Hack, even before we started, uh, he, he, he's been emailing me and you guys kind of look the same, like on his LinkedIn picture. You kind of have the long hair. So... Um... so I'll make my hair long. It was short, but uh, I come. I came here to Canada. I said, oh, "Okay, I will change everything in my life." So. <laughs> cool. So, uh, so go ahead, Bruno, and I'd love to hear your experience about uh, Cornwall. Uh, well, I'm here in Canada for more than one year right, right now. I'm studying Cornwall at St. Lawrence College, and I'm taking game development technician. Because in Brazil, I used to work with, I was a coder, I was a programmer, and I worked with SAP for, I don't know, 80 or 90 years. Mm -hmm. And I decided to try a, a new thing here in Canada, so I decided to try the game, because uh, Canada is the second biggest uh, market for games, just, mm -hmm. just lose for the United States, and Canada has a, a lot of uh, advantage about that, right? Yeah. Um, basically, what I would like to know is, I know that Vancouver is a, a great city for game developments, right? So, I would say something like, I would ask something like that. Uh, I have my courses and we have an, our outline and I'm studying, I'm learning, um, I have great marks, but yet I'm not totally sure what the companies require for someone who wants to get into this market. So I thought some time, some time ago to send some emails to these companies and ask them for some, you know, some north to go. So, to mm -hmm. go. Guys, oh, you have to learn these or mute. that. Sorry. Sorry, people. someone, I just people aren't on mute. Guys, mute your microphone, please, if you're not talking. So everyone, yeah. Uh, I don't know who's, there's someone else. I'm just going to mute everyone. Really, give me one second. I'm mute everyone. Okay. And then mute you. All right. Hi, right, Bruno, please continue. Guys, por favor, fica no mute. So, uh, long story short, uh, it would be nice to send some emails to these game companies and ask them about this, what I have to learn, what do you expect from me? Hmm. Something yeah, like that. for sure. Okay, games. Um, first thing I'll say about games is uh, there's going to be, uh, I just said, share the link, a career fair uh, with all the gaming companies in Vancouver, pretty much, uh, on Saturday. And uh, for VanHack Pro and VanHack Premium members, we're going to be doing a special hangout, uh, just like this, um, for, for you guys. Uh, for those of you here, I'm assuming a lot of people here are Pro and Premium. Um, we're going to be doing a hangout, and we're going to go and interview these companies. So, Bruno, I, I, I would suggest maybe you want to turn Pro if you're not, uh, just for this hangout. But, and of course, right. other things. But the point is, what I'm trying to say to your answer is, uh, a lot of what I would do is I would go to the website of, and this is the same for everybody, for no matter if you're games or designers or, or whatever you want to do, go to the website and read the job descriptions. Um, the lot of, you can just get, you can get a lot of that from, from the video. So if you, if you read the job descriptions of the companies, um, what they say, like, um, close the window. Um, if, if they say something like, uh, you know, this is what I'm looking for. These are the skills, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there's a lot of information you can get there. Um, and, and honestly, I would just start applying to companies and then waiting for, for the interviews and then you can kind of find out more that way too. Um, there's no real other way other than maybe doing something called an informational interview where you send an email or, or call a, a company and say, hey, I'd love to learn more about working for you. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm the right fit, but if you have 10 minutes, I'd love to talk and, and kind of find out what you're looking for. This is not something that, that works all the time because companies are gonna be like, well, why should I spend my 10 minutes working and talking to you? But sometimes they'll say, okay, sure, no problem. Um, and one thing, guys, please, uh, let's, let's keep it in English. No, no Portuguese in the chat. Um, let's, just, let's just all talk in English, guys. We're, we're in Canada um, soon, right? You have to be can in Canada here first and then you can be Canada physically. Don't, sorry, now that's Canadian, being, saying you're sorry. Anyway, Bruno, to answer your question, 
um, informational interviews, job descriptions, and there's a lot of stuff like on Glassdoor and websites like that that say what companies are looking for and how to do interviews with those companies. Um, we're actually building something soon that I can show you guys soon um, for uh, in, in Van Hack, which will be called The List. And it'll be a list of all the companies in Canada, information about those companies, contacts of those people, and things like that. So you can actually start getting in touch with those people and managing like your list of companies that you want to work for. Uh, as well, so that's coming actually in the next couple of weeks, right, right, uh, right in time for the hackathon, actually. Um, but the big, big tip I have for you is, is honestly, just don't be shy. Go out and talk to these companies. They, you, the way you should look at it is like they want you, um, you know, just as much or if not more than you want them. So uh, go out there and ask them questions, get in touch with HR, send them messages, and, and find out what, what they're looking for. Um, so yeah, I, I hope that. Um, okay, that's it. Thank you. No problem. No problem, Bruno. And uh, actually, Bruno, do you, I have a question for you. Um, How has it been? Your experience? Uh, maybe you can share some something about your your time in in uh, is it Cornwall. Well, uh, for everyone who's coming here and decide to take a college like me, um, I don't suggest to come to a city like Cornwall. It's it's a very tiny city. It's around 50,000 people here. Um, in Brazil, we know that 50,000 people, it's a small city, but not that small city. But in Canada, it seems it's a really small city. Mm. Uh, so I'm having problems to try to get a job here. And we don't have that market I'm used to here in Cornwall. So I can use a, a folder here, a programmer here, or an IT system here. But that was the city which has a college that accepted me at the first time. So I decided to come here anyway and, and try. So I would suggest to people go move to big cities. Toronto, Vancouver. I, I think even cities like um, Red Deer in Alberta, it's, it's, a, it's a good choice. I have a friend in, in Red Deer. He's doing very well. He loves the city. It seems he doesn't want to move at all from there. So if you decide to come here, go to a big city, it will be a, a better choice. Nice, so, nice. Great tip, Bruno. And I have to agree with you. Um, maybe like if budget is an issue, um, I, would, I would move to a city like, uh, like Ottawa or maybe Victoria, which is like a second tier city because we have the big three, right? Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal. Those are big cities, lots of jobs, but are expensive. So... Uh, maybe like uh, cities like Toronto, uh, sorry, Calgary, um, Ottawa, uh, Quebec City, Victoria, which are not so big but not so small, uh, might be better for you to start with. And uh, yeah, and of course, really nothing stopping you from from getting a job here in Vancouver after you graduate, right? So um, yeah, yeah, awesome. We'll see you here soon. Uh, Waterloo. I just saw Pedro ask uh, uh, Pedro. Um, and if you're Pedro Israel, who's uh, Felipe Bijo's partner, I just want to say hi to you because uh, I am, I'm, yeah. Oh, awesome. Cool. Hey, Pedro. Good to see you. Congrats on, on your website. Uh, Melhor Plano. Everyone go to, go to and Get a good website. Uh, good deal on your cell phone. Right, Pedro? Uh, Waterloo is amazing. There it is. Done net. Uh, Melhor Plano. Oh, sorry. Waterloo is an amazing city. Uh, there was just an article that was published uh, today and, I, and we shared it all over um, all over the, the you know the social networks about about Waterloo um, it is like I, I have to say this even though I'm from Vancouver it kind of hurts my heart to say this but Waterloo is the best place for technology startups in Canada um, because it has an amazing university and uh, they have just a great 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 um, like it's the world's biggest co-op program so they have like 20,000 university students and anyway I won't go into the details but uh, Blackberry uh, Research Emotion, who you guys may have heard of, like in the past, used to be a big company. Um, there's another company called OpenTex. Um, wow, cool. Good, good luck, uh, uh, Richard, if you get into that uh, master's there. Uh, that'd be really good. Yeah, Waterloo, Ontario. I think it's a great place because you're close to Toronto, so you can kind of go to the big city if you want, but it's, it's not so expensive. Um, but anyway, uh, that Waterloo is a great city. I, I'm I'm going off. Uh, let's 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 get to the questions, guys. Um, wow, there's a lot of questions. Fantastic. I think Thiago GS, you'll, you're going you'll go next because I saw your hand. Um, so go ahead, Thiago. Hey, how you, hello, Rita. How are you doing? Doing well. How are you? I'm good too. Well, um, 
I hope my question uh, uh, is not answered yet in the video that you just mentioned at the beginning of, of the session. Did you watch if it the is, video? You tell me. No, no, not yet, not yet. Actually, uh, okay. if it is answered in there. I, I'm gonna pause right now. And you're gonna okay. go on mute and we're gonna follow the rules because we're in Canada. You're gonna watch the video and you're gonna come back and tell me if it was answered, okay? Oh, okay, good, but, uh, okay. but um, right, now, right now you mean or? Right now, all right. Okay, okay, we'll so, do it. Thanks. All right, guys, we're, we're following the rules in Canada. All right, uh, Victor, um, and I, 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 I don't mean to be rude, Thiago, it's just let, let's, just, let's just do it the, that way. Uh, no, Victor, don't worry. go ahead. I just thought that uh, you, uh, we had to see the video after the session. No worry, I'll, I'll do it right now. Yeah, perfect, thank you. Uh, and this video, this session's recorded, Thiago, so if you miss anything, you can just come back and watch it again. All right, Victor, go ahead. Hi, uh, how's it going, everyone? So uh, I have a question uh, about the, uh, well, well, first, uh, <coughs> I'd like to thank you for the opportunity. And the question is about the level, uh, like experience level. Uh, there is like a minimum level that someone can need to, to start the hackathon, like for example, in my case, I'm a junior developer. Uh, this could be a problem for, uh, to participate to the hackathon, the hackathon or something like this. Um, yeah, great question, Victor, and uh, really good to see you here. Um, my, my pleasure to, to help you. Um, and, and yeah, I, I, I think like the way I would look at it is, especially if you're a junior developer, is your chances of getting a job, let's, like, well, I'll be honest with you, are not very high, right? Because companies are looking for intermediate and senior developers. But participating in the Van Hackathon, you'll have experience, right? So, so you'll, you'll be learning what Canadian companies want, you'll be seeing what, what's built, and I'm guessing you'll learn a, a whole lot, right, thir during, during the weekend. So uh, you can also take the projects that you build during the Mad Hackathon, and I think this, this applies to everybody here, no matter what your level is, and put those on your GitHub, or put those on your resume, and, and say you participated in a, in a hackathon in, in Canada, um, which I think will, will help you. So yeah, I, I would look at it as learning opportunity rather than like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a job. Um, yeah, I, 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 again, I, I, I don't want to discourage you guys, but the, 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 the reality is that most of you won't get hired from the event. And just, I'm just being very open. I mean, that's just how it is, right? Like, there's a lot of participants, not that many jobs, you know, that, but the way it is, it's, it's a step, right? It's a step forward to go through, through and show uh, what you can do with companies. And of course, we're going to have many Van Hackathons. Um, and of course, our, our, our Van Hackathons are not the only thing we do. We have also connections that we do to com companies and we, we teach and stuff, et cetera, et cetera. So the goal is for everybody to get jobs eventually, right? But um, you know, it's just all about taking that first step, showing companies what you can do, maybe making some contacts on LinkedIn uh, and learning, right? So that's the way I would look at it, Victor. Um, and I think it's fantastic that, you know, I'm guessing you're like 20 years old. Um, you look like you're, you're pretty young, man, which is fantastic. 22. 22? Yeah. 22. 22. Okay, cool. It's, 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 it's the, yeah. Uh, yeah. 2022, it's all the same. So you look, you look, you, you, yeah. So big, yeah. So start at 22, uh, thinking about having an international career. I'm not going to say Canada because you, you can work anywhere as a, as a developer. Like in one year from now, you'll probably be able to work, well, even maybe right now you'll be able to work remotely. Um, but like in one year from now, you'll probably be able to work remotely and earn more money than your parents are. So um, keep going. Keep, keep working um, as, as a developer, it's fantastic. And um, yeah, I, I think that you're, you have the right uh, mindset of like trying things even if, you, if you're not sure. Yeah, yeah my, my dream is to come back because, oh, sorry, I didn't say uh, before, but I started in Canada before, like in, uh, last year, but no, only uh, in 2013. Cool. I, remember. Uh, I went to Manitoba and went back. And I stay like for one one year and a, and a half, somebody. Like and mm -hmm. my dreams come back to, to work like a developer. Awesome, <laughs> and, awesome. Can I can, can I do a, a, another question or? Sure, you, sure. The, the the fact that I, I am a a junior developer this could be a problem for them to, to find a team, or this could be okay. So let's go and let's see what happens. <laughs> well, first thing is you don't need a team. A lot of challenges you can do by yourself. Uh, the second thing I would say is I, I, I can't answer that question. Um, I, that depends on the people who would want to or not want to work with you. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, you know, people will be happy to have you on their team, but there's plenty of challenges that, that companies have submitted that one person can, can solve. Okay, okay, thanks. <laughs>
Awesome. Cool, Victor. Uh, yeah. And just once you join the Slack group, you'll be able to talk to people and start making a team and all that okay. stuff. Okay. Thank you very awesome. much. Cool. My pleasure. And uh, next time, go, go somewhere else other than Winnipeg. It's freezing there. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's cool. Yes. <laughs> negative 50. Ooh. Uh, yeah, negative 50. Seriously, guys. All right. I'm just going to go now from the, the alphabetical order since I don't know who put their hands up first. So I'm sorry if you put your hand up uh, earlier. Um, or, or sorry, yeah, so let's go with Andresa. Oh, hi guys, can you hear me? Yes, hi Andresa, what's up? Uh, I have a question, and you know, that's always my question. I'm, I'm seeing the, the page with the examples of the challenge, and I don't see anything from digital marketing, like specific. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So the hackathon is mostly focused on developers and designers. Yeah. Um, there's one company that submitted a digital marketing challenge, uh, which is like to create a digital mar a launch plan for them. Um, so there, there's just the one challenge. Um, so I, I would say for in your case, like it might, I, I don't know if you want to participate or not because it just is just one challenge. And as you're a premium member, I'd be happy to introduce you to, to that company. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think like just because we wanted to really focus on on developers and designers, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier for companies to evaluate developer and designer talent during a weekend rather than like for marketing. You know, you really have to work with someone over time to see if they if they're good or not. Um, you know, SEO and all that stuff takes time to see results. So it was, it was really hard to create challenges for digital marketing people. Mm -hmm. That's why we focused on developers and designers. Okay. I, I'm happy with one challenge. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. I'll introduce you to uh, to William uh, and, okay. and his company. Um, and Teresa usually has her her camera on. So, so, uh, yeah, I, I have no light here today. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, I hope your resume is okay. So I make sure. Yeah, you I, I'm just changing the things you you ask it to. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, and as as you guys probably are guessing, and Teresa's. Uh, uh, premium premium member who is uh, always on the always on the uh, Google or sorry the Google Hangouts uh, the interview practices so we've become good friends. All right, Andreza, thank you. I'm going to put you on mute here. Uh, next up is Bruce. Hey. Uh, hi, Bruce. Uh, how how's it going? I'm, I'm sorry, hi. my my house is a mess. <laughs> Everyone is making noise, so I'll be quick about it. Cool. Uh, I want to know about my my profession because I'm a designer awesome. and how 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 the challenge will be for a graphic designer or something like in this area if, will there be solo challenges for graphic designers something more specific or I will have to to be in a group to de to develop and show my my work to the companies yeah great question um, so yes, there will be challenges for designers, um, specifically just for designers. Most of them will be about redesigning something. So company will say like, oh man, I hate my website, it's ugly. Uh, and then they'll ask designers to submit challenges, very much like 99designs. Um, that, that'll be the, 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 the format or like redesign and onboarding process. So right now we have an app and we, we, you know, this is the way we collect data from our first users the first time they join. Can we make that better? Um, those are the, the, the challenges that people have submitted. Um, yeah, so the, the, that's, that's, that's it. So we'll have access to informations like their, their user, their, their target users and how we, uh, in information in general that we can use to wireframe and show them prototypes and, and deliver the final product. Yeah. Yeah. But mostly it'll be just like a, uh, how can I say, um, like this is their website. Um, sometimes you, you you'll probably be, you might be able to chat with the person. Um, like, with the company. Um, but it's it's mostly like yeah, this is the person. This this is this is the website. Um, this is what they want to do. This is the goal. Um, like a product brief, a project briefing. Nice. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> no problem, Bruce. No problem. Cool. Uh, all right. Let's go to Ellie. Ellie Costa. Hi, Ellie. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank um, you. I have a question, but I don't know it's, if it's fitting. Um, my thing is, I don't have a visa and I don't have the paperwork to go to Canada. But 
if for some miracle, some company try and think I'm good and they want to hire me, will I have time to check this thing out or I will lose my spot because I don't have this stuff either? Yeah, great question. So most of the Van Hackathon companies are open to sponsoring visas. The, the, the re big reason why we, we, we sh they're either open to sponsoring visas or um, hiring someone remotely. So if like, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing like 95% or 99% of everyone like of, of, of us here uh, don't have our visas yet. So that is not a reason like um, to, to not participate, right? So that is not, yeah, not, not. Anyway, the point is, uh, you, you don't worry about that. Um, if the company wants you, they like you, they'll sponsor your visa. Um, and then if, if they're like a smaller company that can just hire someone remotely for now, you'll be working for them remotely. Oh, perfect. Because I, I was worried because it, it takes too long. I, I was looking for like two months to do that. So um, mm -hmm. I was really worried. Yeah, okay. yeah, the visa process usually takes a while, but the beauty of being a developer or a designer is that you can work remotely during that time. So what I always say, you guys, is like the fact that you're developers and designers and you have tech talent, your tech skills, puts you ahead of like everyone else in terms of immigration. Um, mostly because of the fact that you can work remotely, but also because there's a huge shortage of these tech skills. And the reason why we started FanHack really was because we saw this huge gap in the market on not just the desire of you guys wanting to, to come to Canada, but also the desire of companies looking for talent. So um, if, you, if you want to join, um, sorry, if, if, you, if you do get a hired by a company, they will hire you knowing that they'll have to do the visa process for you, but most likely what they'll do is they'll hire you remotely first, so you'll be working, um, you'll be working as a, like a remote developer designer for the first couple months, and then they'll decide whether they want to um, bring you on board full time. So that, that's, the, how, that's how it works. So don't worry about the visa. Um, it's a very difficult process, challenging process, confusing, scary process. But thankfully, because of you guys' skills, uh, we'll be able to not skip it, but have a fast track for it. Oh, that's perfect. That was my question. Thank you. Um, that's a great question. Great question. Yeah, no, it, of course, it's a very big, it's a very big problem. Um, and uh, yeah, look, I, I have some, I have a good feeling that things will change. This is kind of another thing I want to say quickly on the visa before we go to the next question. Um, so I, I'm kind of involved, you know, as, as in that hack as with, with the community here in terms of like uh, people who, um, all right guys, let's, let's be on mute. All right. Much better. Um, so uh, I was going to say, um, I'm very involved with a com like, group of people here that uh, try and influence uh, the, the government in terms of changing the visa. Um, and um, I mean, I'm just like one person, but there's many people that are much more influential and, and much more in, uh, connected than, than I am to the government who are, are talking about this. Um, and when I say this, I mean, uh, the the problem of of the, the how hard it is for companies to hire you guys and how hard it is for you guys to come here. Um, this is a, a problem that many people in Canada are very 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 aware of. For example, Shopify CEO has been talking to the prime Min, uh, to the minister of immigration directly, advising him as to what do, they'd like to see changed. Uh, the minister of immigration was in Canada was in Vancouver, sorry, about a month or two ago, talking to the Canadian or to the Vancouver tech com, uh, tech uh, community, like the CEOs of all the big companies, um, and, and there is a lot of pressure on them to make changes in terms of how to bring in tech talent. So um, this is something that that I, I don't know what will happen. No one knows except for the, you know, the, the government. But I have a really good feeling in the next three to six months, uh, there'll, be, there'll be some good news. So I'm just, I'm just sharing this with you guys because um, like if you're worried about the visa or worried about your English or worried about something, you know, it's, it's easy to kind of get in your head and worry and be like, oh man, like I'm never going to get it. Just keep, keep focusing on your tech skills, keep improving your English, keep applying for jobs, you know, do the, create the profile like we say in our, in, in the videos and, 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 um, good things will happen. Of course it's, it's hard and all that stuff. That's why we have, you know, things like the Van Hackathon and Van Hack Premium where we help you. But, um, I think that just, just, I'm optimistic cause I think it's going to be some, some really exciting changes, um, in the next, in the next few months. So, um, yeah, if, if that, 
that kind of talks a little bit more about the visa. I think that's, that's very important um, and hopefully won't be, won't be such a big barrier soon. All right, uh, let's continue here. Before we do, I actually uh, need to take one quick moment to pause and, and take care of something. I'll be back in like 15 seconds. So just give me, give me one sec. I'll be right back. <laughs> the book is on the table, the sun is shining. Fala em português enquanto isso. Não é? Is that Portuguese? Eu acho que é. Oh. The gonna get mad again. <laughs> yes, yes. I think that was Leo who said that. Um, <laughs> sounded like you, Leo. Uh, anyway, I don't even know if Leo's on this this, this hangout. Um, okay, guys. So sorry about that. I'm back. Let's continue with the questions. And no Portuguese. Mm, not cool. All right, Fred. Fred. Hi, I'm here. Yo. Uh, okay. Uh, my question is. Um, we are, uh, we will have more more contact with the companies, or they will they will just uh, leave the the challenges, and we will retrieve the challenges. But uh, we are we will. The question is, um, we will they will talk to us, or we will, we will. We will Sorry, I'm bugged. I understand what you're trying to say, Fred. Will it, yes. Will the companies talk to you directly, or will they just give you the challenges? Yes, and I, we will we, we will keep waiting. Oh, that's really difficult to say. Uh, they get in touch with us um, uh, after we do it, we did the challenge or things like this. Yeah, yeah. So um, I might have mentioned this earlier, but I'll, I'll kind of repeat it. Basically, I'm gonna uh, I've invited all the companies if they want to. It's up to them to to be in the Slack group, the Van Hackathon Slack group, where the Van Hackathon will happen. Um, so if you uh, if you want, you can direct message like the recruiters of the different companies, um, or they can just like start talking to you guys and, and answering questions. This is up to them. I can't force them. This is one of the benefits that we give to them, saying, "Hey, there's like hundreds of people who want to work for you. Go talk to them." Um, so, in uh, honesty, I don't know what they're going to do if they're going to talk to you or not. It's up to them, um, but we're going to encourage them to do so. In terms of the feedback afterwards, I've asked all the companies to give feedback on the challenges um, and, and tell us which ones they liked. Uh, and then they're going to get in touch with you for, for the interview. So after the hackathon happens, they'll have all the, all the challenges and the results and everything like that. They'll go through it and then they'll get in touch with you for, for an interview. So yeah, and we'll be of course sharing um, all the information once people get hired and stuff like that. Um, which I'm very excited for, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's uh, up to the companies really if they want to if they want to talk. My 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 kind of tip and suggestion to all of you guys is to be super active on the Slack group, um, and and you know don't spam them. Like if you see, for example, Talib, she's the recruiter for Hootsuite. Um, don't like just direct message her. I would like ask smart questions and like you know impress them. Don't be like, hey, give me a job, give me a visa. Right, like that's not cool. Um, if you can like say like, hey, so why did we use this technology? Or what did you think of this? Or like asking a smart question about the challenge. Hootsuite, for example, they submitted four challenges. Uh, a mobile challenge, a design challenge, uh, network computing challenge, and another challenge I don't even remember. So like there's a lot of things, like a lot of information about that that you can talk. Um, yeah, so yeah, that you can talk about and um, and, and, and that use like ask smart questions in order to impress them and get their attention. Um, great question, Pedro. They're gonna be both technical and non-technical recruiters in the, in the Slack group. All right, all right, let's keep going, Fred. Thank you for your question, Fred. Um, Helen. Oh, thank you for your answer. Thank you. No problem, man. Uh, Helen, Helen. Hello. 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 Hey, um, uh, I have one doubt, uh, two doubts. Uh, mm -hmm. Companies prefer people who use frameworks or people who like to write the code? 
Uh, okay, yeah, I'll answer that. Uh, I thought you were gonna ask both. Uh, okay, yeah, th that's a great question. Um, it depends. Some companies like frameworks. I would say most probably like frameworks. It's not about it's not about you know showing how much you know. It's actually about getting things done fast. And frameworks are are great. Um, so I know like a lot of JavaScript frameworks are very popular these days. Angular, Node, etc. Um, so yeah, I, I would I would have to say most probably prefer frameworks, but uh, I think they'll be very interested in, in seeing if you can if you can just you know code from scratch. So yeah. And uh, uh, want people uh, to be um, uh, formed in the idea. No, no. So you don't need a degree. This is another beautiful thing about technology is they don't care where you went to school. Um, they, 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 guys, let's, let's, let's everyone be on mute. We don't want to hear full stone. Okay. So, uh, you, you want to be, um, on, um, like, doesn't matter if you're graduated or not in the area, as long as you have the skills. So if you are like a developer who never, you know, never went to the university for development, even if you don't even have a high school degree, they don't care. Um, they just want to know that, uh, yeah, that you have the tech skills. So, yeah. All right. Uh, thank you. And uh, if he, uh, I get a job and I don't have any money enough, uh, there are, um, uh, there is some kind of uh, work he, here in Brazil? Um, I don't think I understand what you're trying to say. If you get a job, you're going to be getting paid by Canada, remote, Canadian company remotely. So you'll be earning money while in Brazil. Um, yeah. So I, I, th I think, I think, I think uh, if you're a developer or designer, you can work remotely, as I mentioned. So you'll be earning in Canadian dollars while living in Brazil. No, sorry. Uh, if I, I get a job, but I don't prepare to go to Canada, I don't have money enough, or... Uh, but you don't, you don't need money. The only money you need is to pay for your plane ticket. Yeah, the, the, if you get a job and the company sponsors you, you don't need to have money. The company will pay for, like, they'll, they'll be paying your salary, so you'll be using that money to pay for your, your, um, your flight and your, your, your housing, because you'll be working for them and they'll be paying for you a salary. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Okay. Thank you. Great. Yeah, no problem, Helen. Uh, all right, Rachel. Rachel, are you still with us? Hey, yay. I'm back. Hey. It's actually, it's actually a question somebody made before, but a little different. Uh, it's about, I never, I never been on a hackathon before. So, um, what kind of challenges as a designer can I expect to, to face? I mean, uh, app interfaces or landing pages or logo or... Yeah. Uh, both I think uh, my designs is very random. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, good question. I would say it's both a uh, landing page redesign as well as uh, onboarding process redesign. Those are the two main challenges for designers. Mm. Is that a page I can check the results of the previous hackathons just uh, to have an idea? If there was, I would let you know, but uh, this is actually the first one. So this is the first event hackathon ever. Um, so, oh, wow. Yeah. Hey, sorry. Yeah, yeah no, no problem. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely put the results up uh, of the projects after, um, after we finish. So, yeah. Awesome. Yay, thanks. No problem, Rachel. Good to, good to have you here. Thanks for your question. All right, um, let's see here, Flavia. Flavia, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi. Are you listening to me? I can hear you, yes. Okay, uh, some, of, some of my questions you've already answered to Rachel. So I'm a graphical designer, but I'm not a um, web designer, okay? So I'm, I'm expert in most of printing materials, 
and logos, illustrations, and I would like to know if I'm allowed to to be a member or if my profile fits the, the event, okay? If the companies um, the companies request this kind of of expertise in the Pen Hackathon? Uh, no, they don't. Uh, okay. It's mostly web and mobile design. Okay, thank you a lot. No problem, Flavia. Thank you, Richard. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Richard. Hey, how are you doing? Hello. Oh, how are you? Yeah, uh, good. Good, not bad. I think we have like uh, have like a conversation by email, right? So I'll have, I have qu ask you like a couple of questions. I have like a different process, but let me try to just, you know, try to put in a practical way to try to understand, uh, to try to understand if I like participate in the Hagatoon and then um, let's suppose some company we will accept me. How will be the process? I mean, in terms of uh, they will send, you know, um, the invitation formally in order to get the visa and et cetera. This is one part of the question. The second part of the question is the seller range. Uh, I just want to understand the seller range and understand very well that the seller range depends on where you live in Canada. If you live in Vancouver, it's one seller, it's one living cost. And if you like, if you live in another place, it's another living cost. I just have an idea for seller yearly seller range for uh, a developer, architect and manager. This is, um, uh, for me at least, needs to be very clear because, you know, I don't know uh, people here, but so what am I feeling is that people are trying to move to Canada when an opportunity, that when they move, they need to know, I mean, at least I need to know um, what is the living cost to have an idea. I know that I can search on the internet, but I would like to, uh, to know from you that's living there and, and, and you have an experience in Brazil and, and, and then you're local there, so you can share yeah. with this, uh, this kind of transition. For sure, for sure. So. Um, all right, let's go, let's, yeah, let's go into the, into the house or like living, cost of living. Um, I would say cost of living, yeah, it depends. Uh, but if like you are, uh, let's say a couple, um, spending anywhere between two or three thousand dollars per month on food, rent, all the kind of necessary stuff, you, you'll, you know, you, you can do it less than that. Um, that it really depends on like, if you take trips, if you go to the movies, if you go to the restaurant, all that stuff. But I would say between two thousand and three thousand dollars to have like a, a very good like middle class life here, um, rent a one bedroom apartment, etc. Um, that's that's more for like Vancouver, Toronto. Uh, for Montreal, I'd say like closer to two thousand, maybe even fifteen hundred uh, if you really push it. And on the smaller cities, probably around that that price as well. Um, in terms of salary. So this is another great thing about being a you know technical person. Salaries are, are very high compared to um, compared to the rest of the country. Um, so, or sorry, the, the rest of the market. So salary is probably from like a junior developer or like designer, probably around fifty to six thousand dollars. Intermediate, uh, seventy to eighty, um, and then senior would be like over a hundred. Um, yeah, we have a we have a systems architect here in Vancouver who's making over a hundred thousand dollars. Who's a Van Hack Premium member, um, and so yeah, it's 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 pretty it's pretty great. Um, well, what what else was what, what your question? Did you have you had another question that I'm not not remembering? Yeah, my question is what was about the process. I mean, once you're accepted and oh, yes, the process. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, so I just wrote an ebook about this. Um, uh, and Arthur Terenio, welcome to Van Hack Pro. I just saw your, your sign up just here. Um, so uh, let me share with you guys the ebook. I think that probably would be the best way uh, how to hire. Sure. So that you guys can see exactly what companies, this is very like beta version. It's just in Google Docs. We're getting, we're getting it designed and turned into a PDF, but um, I'll share with you guys this link. Um, so then you can go out and, and see because it's a, I'm not going to explain the whole process. It's a very, very long, complicated process that like involves a lot of government stuff. Um, but basically the way it works is this, a company has to prove that there's no one else outside of the country, sorry, in the country that is as good at, at the position as you are. So they have to put the job online for four months. Um, like companies like Shopify and Hootsuite, they're, they're bigger, they've done, they've done this before, sorry, four weeks, not four months, four weeks, one month. Um, they, they, they already probably have these jobs postings in a certain level, but let's, let's say if they, they don't, um, 
let's say they don't uh, do it. So basically what will happen is you'll probably like wait for three or four months for the whole process to go where they wait, they post a job offer and then afterwards they, they send the application and then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it, take, it takes a while, but on your side, from your side, there's not really much you can do. You just give them your information and that's it. So read the ebook and you can see a lot more information about like all the different steps they have to do. They have to like create this transition plan and like show how they're, They've made a lot of effort to try and hire people in Canada. It's basically like a protectionist law to make sure that they're not hiring somebody that if they can hire someone here, uh, which totally makes sense, but it's a little bit too bureaucratic right now. Um, anyway, so the companies that are coming to the Van Hackathon, they are open to hiring virtually sorry, and remotely that, uh, from abroad. That's why they're, parts, you know, they're, they're coming to us because they can't find someone otherwise um, in the country. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how it works. Yeah, thanks for your answer. Yeah, that clarified a little. So I'm gonna read the document that you just sent. Yeah, Thank you. yeah, the document has like a much more like step one, step two, step three. But it's honestly, yeah. don't worry about it. It's, it's on the company side. It's good for you to know. And the reason why we created this document is, you know, of course, to show companies, um, but also to show you guys so you can talk to companies in a smart way and tell them exactly how it works. But um, you know, for for your side, the only thing you should really worry about is getting the job and then like working remotely until the time comes. Because there's not much you can do. There's nothing like there's nothing in your control. It, it's all up to the company to fill out the paperwork, to pay the fee, to do everything right. So from your side of things, it's just work, get paid, and wait. All right. Thank you. Come on, Richard. Um, cool. All right. Uh, Ronaldo, good to have you back, Ronaldo. How are you? Oh, hi. Great. Uh, well, <laughs> my question this time is about the, it's still about the, the, the gaming opportunity that ThinkApes is offering to us. I want to know more uh, something about their challenge, if you can use some game engine, uh, if it's more like algorithm challenges, because I saw the, their job position for a game developer, and it, it, it was, you know, kind of an open position. Wasn't asking so much frameworks as used to mm -hmm. request others. So uh, I'm still not sure what they are expecting for us. If it's just more just like an algorithm thing or is, you know, know everything and do your best, do a, a game from scratch. Mm -hmm. Confused about that. Yeah, yeah. They, they're they're going to ask you to solve a problem. Um, so they're going to give you a problem, and you're going to you're going to solve it. Mm, okay, uh, and that's probably more, you know, algorithmic, yeah. like yeah, a graph, um, <laughs> things like that, Jigster thing. Yeah, I, I can't get into the details just because it, it'll kind of give it away. Um, don't worry, you'll, 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 you'll find out in, 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 like on, on the Friday. So just about the challenges, guys. We will release the challenges to everybody on Friday, uh, the 20th. Uh, so everyone will get an email with the challenges and I'll also share it in Slack. They'll be just in a simple Google Doc with the name of the company, uh, the challenge, and like any other extra information. Uh, and then we'll be able to submit the challenges directly to get, uh, hackathon.io. Um, so... Yeah, that, that's where the challenges are. I saw Diego ask that question on the chat. And uh, yeah, I, I can't share any information about them because it'll be unfair to people who might not see this. Um, so unfortunately, Ronaldo, I won't be able to answer your question in details. But uh, yeah, don't, don't worry. You'll get the challenge and I'm sure you'll, you'll, be, you'll be fine. Uh, um, okay, but uh, at least they will you know, be open to remote positions. Like you said, you said some companies, but this one is specifically, will they? Yeah, yeah, they'll open to hire you rem hiring you remotely or uh, bringing you in uh, oh, to, to work for that's them. That's great, that's great. Okay, thank you. Cool, yeah, and uh, yeah, no problem. All right, uh, Christian, how many jobs are we talking about? Um, that's a good question. Uh, between all the companies, I. They, you know, dozens, like maybe 30 or 40 or 50 jobs. I, there's a lot of, a lot of jobs at the different, like, like on uh, uh, Shopify alone has like 40 or 50 job openings right now. So, um, that's a, it's, it's a question I, I don't know the answer to, but I'd have to guess like maybe, maybe like 60 or 70. I, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, 
yeah, some companies have like one job or two jobs open, but Shopify and Hootsuite, it's like a lot. So yeah. Uh, all right. Let's keep rolling here. Thiago Value. Hi. I'm hey ready. there. Yes, I can, Thiago. Yeah, nice. Uh, by the way, nice to meet you virtually. Uh, yes, yeah. So, um, in fact, I just knew about uh, the hackathon like two days ago. And, okay. Uh, like today, I could have a little, more, a little more time to see something more about it and everything. So, but one thing I couldn't really find about uh, about it. So. Uh, that's what I'm, what I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you. Um, is there some kind of um, uh, opportunity uh, to fit in some kind of, a, of, of group? Or if, uh, if I'm, I'm like, a, okay, uh, I have a, a web developer, and then I know that some, there are some groups, and uh, should I try to talk to them somehow? Or if I, or I need to... Uh, Create my own group if I can, and then I I need to uh, apply uh, my my own group. So but my question is, uh, if there is if there are some, some groups, can I uh, talk to them to be able to fit in the groups? Uh, that's yeah, the yeah, yeah. Great question, Thiago. And uh, just quickly here, I just want to say welcome, Diego Gomez Antonelli, uh, to VetHack Pro and the Hat Hackathon. Just signed up as well. Uh, so Thiago, yes, uh, you will be able to. Um, once you get into the Slack group, once you sign up and get into the Slack group, you can uh, make teams there. So we're just leave, leaving it up to you guys to create your teams and say who you are. And then people can kind of make teams of like developer designers and people that they trust and want to work together with. So you can, and there's also, like I said, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, challenges that are, sorry, yeah, challenges that people can do by themselves. So you don't need a team. So like, for example, if you join and like, oh man, I, I, no one likes me. Well, it's okay. You can do a lot of stuff by yourself, too. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, man. No problem. No problem. And it's nice to meet you virtually as well. Thank you. Thank uh, and I just want to quickly respond to Lucas's question about uh, the Van Hackathon being, uh, or the hackathons in general being common. Um, I have to say that the virtual hackathon, I think this is the first one ever in terms of like virtual hackathons. Um, a lot of companies, what they do when they hire you is they give you a, like a coding challenge. So they say, like, go to this website and fill out this coding challenge. Um, but that's not, like, it's a little bit different. What we're trying to do is getting a lot of people to fill out a lot of coding challenges in a short amount of time and then get that to companies so they can hire a lot of people. Um, and that's the goal. So, yeah, this is something that's kind of uh, new and, and, and not been done before, which, um, of course, is, you know, is, is exciting. But at the same time, you know, we, we don't really know how it's going to go. We'll see. Find out together. Um, all right, cool. Um, just want to say, uh, all right, cool. Richard, I saw your, your message. Uh, you have to go. I'll see you later. We'll definitely talk more for sure. Um, all right. Uh, what, what's up here? Hugo. Hugo is next. Hey, Hugo. Hey, everyone. Hey, yeah. how are you? Doing well. How are you? Good. Uh, I would like to know how is the market for the COBOL programmer? And I'm sorry, it's awful. There's like 20 jobs in Canada for COBOL programmers. All right, okay. So this event is directed more to web developers. Yes. Web and mobile. Yeah. Web and mobile. Yeah. All right, that's yeah. it. Yeah, Hugo, uh, please learn another programming language. Like, uh, like it's. No, I know how to program in several languages. Oh, awesome! Awesome! Cool. No, no, no disrespect. No, not taken. Uh, actually, I'm working in a bank with Cobol, but I also worked with Android development, and I worked in a company who was used to work for Motorola. So I'm cool with both platforms. But nowadays, I'm currently focusing in COBOL because it's currently my job, you know. So I'll see what, what there is out there. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, uh, Android. So you said Android. Um, and thanks for your question, Hugo. Yes, Android is awesome. There's a lot of, a lot of companies looking for Android developers, um, not just at the Van Hackathon, but, you know, all over the country. So uh, for sure, you should... Uh, 
you should be a, um, how can I say, an Android developer. So focus on Android. Okay, guys, before we go on, um, I just want to quickly uh, make an announcement. The Van Hack uh, Van Hackathon Photo Contest, we have our winners. So we have three winners, and they are um, Regis Soto, Daniel Marquez, and Frederico Morera. I don't know if any of you guys are on this call. Um, I'll be emailing you soon, but congrats. You guys got a free ticket to the Van Hackathon. Uh, your pictures were selected. Um, so, yeah, congratulations. I don't know if anyone's there. Um, another thing that I'm going to announce um, is, is that oh, – oh, let's go on mute. Um, all right. Um, is that uh, Van Hack Premium is coming back. Van Hack Premium is coming back the day after the Van Hackathon. So um, for everyone who doesn't know what Van Hack Premium is, I'm just going to put that here. Um, yeah, Van Hack Premium is our members area where we talk, uh, work specifically with you, create your profile, create your cover letter, create all the things you need, uh, have two hours of interview practice. So like, like this, what we're having now, except with not with 100 people uh, <laughs> at the same time, mostly like 15 to 20 people. Um, but we, we do interview practices at twice a week. Uh, we also connect you with companies, make introductions, and then you are on a special Van Hack Premium Slack group where I am all day, and you can ask me and anyone on the team questions about anything. Um, and the other thing about that is that right now we're, we're, we're introducing a new, a new uh, way to join. Before, you could you either join for one year or six months. Uh, now, if you want to join Van Hack Premium, it'll be monthly. So you can join Van Hack Premium for a monthly, <clears throat> a monthly subscription. So if you join and you, know, you say, maybe I, I want to join, I don't know if I want to pay the whole yearly thing or even six months, I'll just pay for the one month, see what it's like, and then uh, continue or, or not. So there's, uh, there's that option. Um, and we'll definitely be talking a lot more about that uh, in the next couple of weeks. But let's focus on the Van Hackathon. That's what this Hangout's about. But I just wanted to announce that to you guys. You're the first people who found out about this. We haven't shared this publicly anywhere else. So you know, um, I hope you... I hope you guys, uh, yeah, <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, we, we've definitely had some, some success with our premium members. We've helped 32 people now get jobs uh, in the last year. That number, I want to get to 100 by the end of the year. That's my goal. Uh, maybe we can, we can get more. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, that, that's all the information there. Antonio is, like, one of our, um, like, Van Hag premium Super guys, he's at every interview practice, so you guys can ask him questions here, and I can answer, I can answer for Antonio. Antonio um, hasn't got a job here yet; he's still preparing. So the profile, it's a process; it's not something that happens overnight. But uh, definitely, his English is getting better, um, and we're working on his resume and stuff like that now. So, yeah, um, I'm. I guess let's. Uh, I can stay around for another like five, ten minutes, maybe. I know we have a lot of hands up here. Uh, we probably won't be able to get to all of you. I'm sorry. But uh, let's go to Jefferson, and then we'll go from there. Oh, Jefferson, I unmuted you. I'm sorry. I muted you because you unmuted yourself. We clicked the button. Same now. Bye, Jefferson. Uh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just a, a, a quick question. Uh, will Slack be the, the, the right way to reach you from Van Hack for problems? I don't know if I have some problems the uh, the platform, some doubts uh, regarding the system. Uh, there will be a channel in Slack for that. Um, you mean for the Van Hackathon Slack group or the premium Slack group? No, no, uh, for, for Van Hackathon. Yeah, um, that's a good point. Uh, there isn't a feedback channel, but I'll make one. So, yeah, learning from okay. our, learning from our members. Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, the, and, and, uh, another question about the the mood of the companies, are they uh, excited about the hackathon? What are you feeling about, about them? I think they're curious. Um, yeah. I, think, I think one thing you guys have to know, like, and maybe you already know this, but just want to highlight is that companies, um, you know, for whatever reason, I think it's just human nature, they don't trust as much talent that's not here in Canada. So this is one of the barriers you guys are going to have to get over, right, as, as, a, as, a, as an immigrant. Um, that's one of the yeah. things that we, we try and, um, we try and, 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 tra and solve. And by the way, Adriano, welcome to Van Hack Pro. Um, nice to have you part of the team. Um, so we, what we're trying to do with the Van Hackathon is give you guys a platform to show your skills, show what you can do 
um, and, and companies to be able to judge you more on your code and your design skills rather than on your you know, English abilities or the fact that you don't have a Canadian job. Um, <laughs> well, Marillo's hiring. <laughs> Everyone's going to be friends with him now. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that uh, companies are, 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 they're curious. I think they're interested they're, They want to see what's happening. They, I don't think they really understand exactly like what you guys can do because <laughs> like, you know, it's just, I think they're underestimating. Um, at least that's my maybe opinion, um, or point of view, but, uh, yeah, most of the companies, I think they're interested when we tell them that there's going to be hundreds of people working on projects for them that they can hire from, they get excited about that for sure, because it's hard for them to find talent here. So yeah, I would say it's like a mix of curiosity and interest. Um, since this kind of is the first thing too. Um, and thanks Allison for what you just said. I appreciate that. Um, all right. Uh, let's take maybe two more questions. And by the way, Jefferson, good luck on the IELTS test. I hope you've been studying hard. I'm sure you have, uh, good luck on that. All right, cool. Walter or Walter, sorry, you're up next. All right. Thank you. No problem, Jefferson. Hey, audience. How are you doing? Hi, Walter. I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, so I'm a Van Hake Premium as well, but I will make a question here. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's about the, in order to make teams as a developer, we have a lot of skills, different skills. So what's, what's going to work that in the Van Hackathon? Because uh, I know that there will be challenges, but uh, I mean, I work with PHP most of the time, but I have another team members that work with another language, etc. What, how it, it will work, you know? Um, well, there'll be a list of challenges and you choose which challenge you want to work on and you complete the challenge and then you move on to the next one. No, oh, I see. Yeah, sorry. I, I think I didn't do my question well, question well but uh, I mean, uh, for example, shop, Shopify is working for uh, Ruby on Rails uh, developers, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, my team is going to, for example, get one challenge from Shopify and we choose to make in PHP or uh, JavaScript or some another language that we know uh, more and there is a chance they see our uh, answer to this challenge and try to make contact or not. I would say probably not. Um, you know, they're, they're looking for Ruby on Rails developers, so they're going to want to hire Ruby on Rails developers. Um, so, yeah, like I would focus on other companies that have the, like, the tech stack that you fit into. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, it's the same thing like if you were to apply to a Ruby on Rails job with PHP skills or if you apply to a PHP job with Ruby skills, you know, it's the same as, as any, any kind of... Company. Yeah, no, yeah, my doubt, it was just because I, I saw many teams being, um, you know, going together with different skills. So I, f I felt these, you know, these doubt, doubt about the challenges. And mm -hmm. No, it's a, valid, it's a valid question. It's a valid question for sure. All right, cool. Um, quickly, B. Flores, QA testers. Uh, yes, but not at the hackathon. QA positions. Um, yeah, there's no QA challenges at the hackathon, um, but that doesn't mean that you can't look for a QA job remotely, and VanHack can definitely help you get a QA job, just not at the hackathon. Um, yeah. Yeah, .nevs for sure. .net, .nev, .nevs. .net devs can definitely join. Um, data analysts, not at the hackathon, but definitely a lot of positions in Canada for that. Uh, all right, cool. One more question. Um, Paulo, go ahead. Paulo, are you there? <laughs> Wellington, two more, please. Okay, Wellington, you get to go because Paulo's sleeping. Go ahead, Wellington. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, finally, because everybody's getting thrown in the line because, you know, <laughs> I'm only one. So that, That's funny, yeah, that alphabetical. Thing. Okay. Uh, okay, my question, I think it's, uh, you already answered, kind of uh, uh, already answered. I currently already work remotely uh, for IBM, and uh, actually my my goal here is having the living experience in Canada. 
So I have actually two questions. One is uh, how uh, French language is important. You know, the knowledge of French language is important to work in Canada. No. Uh, I know, yeah, half of the country, like, you know, French. So no, like 20% maybe. Don't worry. French isn't important at all. Uh, okay. So that, that's good to hear. Okay, and the second one is uh, it's more regarding the visa process uh, again, uh, but it's a little bit more, you know, if uh, you get hired uh, remotely, to work remotely uh, for some company, uh, you still getting, uh, uh, you need a visa still. Uh, I mean, uh, you have to open a bank account to, to get uh, your uh, incomes uh, in the Canadian dollars or, you know, uh, this kind of stuff. Yeah, you don't need a visa to work remotely, uh, and companies usually pay you for, like, PayPal or something like this, so you don't need a, yeah, exactly, uh, you don't need a Canadian bank account. Oh, so, uh, and I, I'm not sure, but that should be, you know, some kind of uh, taxation uh, to, to get this money here. Yeah, in Brazil. they'll hire you as a contractor, um, and you'll pay taxes in Brazil on your income in Brazil but you won't pay taxes in, in Canada. So, okay, I got it. Okay, uh, so basically the, that, that's uh, the two questions I had. Uh, and one more, maybe the last one, I promise. Uh, it's, uh, since I work for IBM, how, I don't know if uh, you know the process, but how would it be, you know, uh, internal transfer, maybe it would be easier to get, a, you know, because I want this, this living experience. So remotely it would be, you know, uh, a, a good choice for me in my case mm -hmm. uh, since I want to live there. Uh, yeah. So uh, how, how uh, do you think about, you know, internal transfer, uh, you know, uh, regarding, you know, the laws? Uh, I don't know uh, if uh, yeah. you know something about it. We have a webinar um, about that that I will get the link and share for you right now. Um, it is a... Um, webinar about the intercompany transfer visa. So let me just find it. Um, yeah, because I know a lot of countries has you know uh, some you know, uh, easier uh, process on those kind of uh, transfer. transfer. Yeah, I. I'm, if you can go on our YouTube uh, YouTube channel, I'm trying to find it. I can't. Um, sure, you can do that. What yeah. What is the title? It's just intercompany transfer visa. I'm pretty sure it's. Oh, sure. I can search for that. Yeah, no and if, it, if it's not there, um, I don't know. I can't, I can't find it here for some reason, but it should, should be here. Um, basically, it's, it's pretty easy to, to do intercompany transfer. If you can convince your company to do it, then it doesn't take much time. Okay, cool. And uh, regarding the age of uh, concerns, uh, I'm 33. Uh, you think it's a problem? Uh, you, you, you said it was the last question. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. No, I'll answer. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, 33 is fine. Um, companies are looking for people who are experienced. They don't want, um, you know, they don't want someone who's just like right out of school so, uh, most of the time. That's why I think when Victor asked this question about him, him being 22, I said, you know, chances of him getting a job are, are lower than intermediate or, or senior. Uh, although, Victor, I think it's still good. You keep, keep working, keep studying. Uh, it's just a matter of time for you. But uh, to get back to you and anyone else here who might be a little bit older, don't worry, uh, companies want people who have experience and, and, and like five, 10 years experience is, some, is the reason why they're, they're going and looking for the kind of top talent to come in and, and do the, those senior jobs, that those are the hardest people to find. Um, yeah. Okay. So, cool. Perfect. That's it. So, the, <laughs> and sorry, it just came to my head. No, so. good question. Good question. <laughs> and there's actually a, a video there on YouTube about age uh, that you can watch. Um, and then, Okay, so two videos I have to watch. Yeah, yeah you, you have homework. Uh, <laughs> Cool, thanks Wellington. Sure, no problem. All right, so Allison is asking here, if you can't, she can't join the Van Hackathon, could you still join Van Hack Premium? Yes, 100%, you don't have to be a Van Hack Pro member to join Van Hack Premium, you can just go straight in, into Premium. That's how, you know, Pro is actually a recent product we just launched like two, two or three months ago. So um, yeah, Premium is, is like our main flagship product where we really work hard with people and help them. So uh, you can join Premium um, no matter if you're just a regular, you know, Van Hack member or, or a pro member. Um, all right, one sec, guys. All right, cool. Um, all right, so I think we're good now. Um, thanks, guys, for hanging out with me for this last hour. 
Uh, I'm just gonna, yeah, so everyone who's watching this online, 